this week on Santa Barbara, Nick walks in on a lover's rendezvous and finds his girlfriend in his brother's arms. Could this be the end for Nick and Kelly? And is a cop tormented with an agonizing decision? Will he marry the woman he loves, or will he send her to prison? Santa Barbara, this week. I doubt it. Well, I just thought I'd ask. So anyway, what do you have? The oysters are great today, and the horseshoe crab is dynamite. Look, I, I really don't want anything right now. I'm waiting for something. Mm. Thanks. Suit yourself, but there is a minimum. Here. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Kirk. Well, feelings mutual. Mason. Well, now that we have the obligatory pleasantries out of the way, shall we get down to business? We would need ready to concede defeat and turn capital enterprises over to me. I told you we're not about to do that. No, you should. You should learn to accept the inevitable with a modicum of grace. You know, Cruz's investigation is moving much too slowly. Well, then talk to him. Oh, I'll do much better than that. If you don't arrange for a transfer of power over to me, I'll hop on down to the DA's office. Tell him what I know about Eden. You think Eden would mind? Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Hello? Kelly? Where are you? Are you okay? Yeah, listen, I gotta make this real quick, though. Carlos sent some of his men after me. Dylan just told me. I, I know. Okay, okay, listen to me. I'm afraid to come back into town, all right? I want you to call the police, tell them I've got the map, and I'm taking it to the ghost town. Ghost town? Kelly, no. Just like it's hiding out there. Don't the police round those guys up. Kelly, listen to me. I want you to come back here, please. It's... Nick, don't worry about me. If you get the police on this, I'll be okay, all right? I love you. Kelly! Don't go. Well, it's not It's not safe. Kelly. Nick, 
coming. The police? No. Three guys on motorcycles. I spotted them down in the valley. They're going to be here soon. We don't have much time. It started to rain again. I got these out of your car. Well, we got to run. Hold on. Where to? I don't know. Does it matter? If it... Yes, it matters. It matters because if we go anywhere on foot, we're dead. We should stay here where we've got some cover. What do you mean? What are you going to do? Make a stand? Are you crazy? Look, you said that the police are coming. If that's true, then all we have to do is buy some time. Look, Kelly, we have to get ready for these guys the same way you got ready for me. All right, then, let's do it. Come on. You'll be okay? Well, do I have a choice? Come on. They won't. Yeah, but what if they do? Then we'll have to depend on your nail trick. You worked on me, I don't see why I won't work on them. Well, what if they come into town from another direction? You don't worry about that. I'll take care of them. Oh, uh, that's real encouraging. Kelly, this is no time for what ifs. Now, where are the nails? <sighs> Look, if you believe in something hard enough, it works. Trust me. If I only had a choice. Where are the nails? Over there. Receptionist wanted must have pleasant phone voice. Handle pressure. Typing 80, some steno filing with Saturday. College degree, bilinguality, an MA preferred? PhD, a plus? Who are they kidding? There's something else. Okay. Honey? Yo! Hey, take a look at this here. Uh, oh. how, how do I look, Dwayne? You look. Handsome. No. Marvelous. Well, <laughs> thank you, but I mean to tie. You think it's a little too much? No, but the oh, same part. Well, I mean, I'm never going to get a job. Yes, you will, and you go today. Mm. How come you're so sure about that? Because I read your horoscope. It's in the paper. Do you want to read it? No, no, I just want the job. Mm -hmm. Well, we are, we are talking about my husband here, pal, and we both know he always gets what he wants. Sure did when I got you. Oh. All right, I got to go. Okay. Okay, here Good we luck. go again. I love you. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Okay, Mama, I'm gonna go now. Uh, thanks for taking care of Johnny. I'll uh, call you later. Thanks again. Have fun. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, wish me luck. I know the D.A. quite well, and trust me, if I go to him with what I know about Eden, he won't hesitate to press charges for attempted murder. He'll jump on her the same way he's jumped on all the Capwells. Grace, don't you have any idea how emotionally fragile Eden is right now? Oh, poor Eden. Is that because she tried to murder my father or because she failed at it? She had nothing to do with that. Oh, well, I suppose there's a small chance that there's an Eden look-alike somewhere in the world. With Eden's fingerprints? Well, I believe that. I think the judge will. Do you realize what you're talking about is ruining your sister's life just to get control of the company? I'm offering her a chance not to ruin it. You know, even if you manage to get her to trial, she'll never be convicted. Well, she wouldn't have to be. As long as uh, she goes to trial, that's enough. Because unless she steps down from control of the company at that point, she'll do irreparable damage to the company. And as much as the rest of the family prefers her to me, they'll have to ask her to step down and ask me to take her place. There's really no other candidate. You do gents ready to order? Sorry, I'm not hungry right now. I don't wonder. So what about you? No, for all I'm uh, saving my appetite, I'm going to be swallowing a rather large company very soon. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, hope you don't choke on it. I won't, don't worry. Well? Well, what? Well, are you ready to counsel Eden into stepping down while stepping good? Mason, she's not going to do that. She'll feel that that is an admission of guilt. Of course she'll feel that way. That's what it is. Look, I am telling you for the last time, Mason, 
She did not have any part in pulling Cece's plug. She was with me when that happened. Well, tell that to the judge. Under oath. That's what you'll both have to do. Now, either you have the papers turning the company over to me ready by 4 o'clock, or I go to the DA. You should uh, try the oysters here sometime. If only for Eden's sake. Yeah. Have some of these. They'll put some color back in your face. Look, would you get those stinking things out of my... I, I, you know, I will pay for the damn table. Just leave me alone, all right? Okay, but I think that these oysters would go very nicely with a little story I know starring Eden Capwell and Kirk Cranston. Hey. Wait a minute. You're Kirk Cranston, aren't you? That's a small world, isn't it? Anyway... I happen to know this guy that saw you carry Eden into your apartment on a certain night in question. But if you don't want to hear about it, this is fine. It's over, that's all. What do you mean it's over? What? Eden and me, Eden and me. No, come on, you don't, don't say that. It's don't... over. I, what do you mean, don't, don't say that. I know what kind of state Eden is. She's so the one you. who wants it like this, this, Sophia. I know how she feels about you. She gave me back my ring. Why? Well, I don't know why. It, it wasn't working out, I guess. But I'm just... Tell me why. What happened? There's... Her work, the company, no time, my work, different lives, different paths, different every single thing. All right. Now tell me what that means, what has happened. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's what uh, doesn't ever happen. We can't seem to be honest with each other. You realize, don't you, that she's half out of her mind about her father and the company? Yeah, I know that. And don't you listen to her? Doesn't she talk to you about that? Does she talk to you, <sighs> to you about her father? I, look, I don't think we should get into this one. Why? That's it. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Her father. Someone attempted to take his life. Investigation, right, Cruz? Is that it? You think it was Eden, don't you? Did you tell her you think it was her? Sophia, I don't want to talk about this now. Please. I'm going to help you clean this up. No, that's all. No, right. really, yes, I thought. Look, I said I'll do it.
have? Uh, let me just get my sweater and my purse and I'm all ready. Okay. How are you? Frazzled. You know, there's something wrong with my car, and of course, I don't have time to get it fixed, and aside from that, my life is just, uh, frazzled. <laughs> well, at least you wouldn't know it to look at you. You always say the right thing. You know that? You always did. Remember that time in junior high when I, uh, I broke my leg roller skating, and I had that cast on it, and you said, Mary, it looks so good on you. Why don't you get a cast on the other leg? <laughs> you know, come to think of it, what kind of compliment is that? There you are. You've been avoiding me. Yeah, well, I'm about to do it again. Where are you going now? The clinic. Don't go yet. I need to talk. Mason, we're late, okay? Hello, Mason. Mark, we meet again. You said we might. Or did I? Come on, Mark, let's go. <laughs> Mary, not before you give me an explanation. Would you excuse us, Mark? I don't owe you anything. If you're going to be this mad at me, I want to know why, so I'll know what to be contrite about. You know perfectly well why. You tricked me into giving you information, and then after I begged you not to tell anybody, you go and you tell Kirk and you tell Cruz. Don't you think they had a right to know? Well, Cruz, yeah, he's, he's conducting an investigation. I told him myself. And why do you object to my telling him? Because, Mason, you... You drag information out of me, and then you, you wave it around like a headline, and, and I told you that I didn't know who it was that I saw. Well, yes, you did. Don't try to backpedal now. You saw Eden. I'm not sure I saw Eden. Besides, Eden has a conscience, however small. Eventually, she'll be grateful to you for seeing her and turning her in. I didn't turn her in. And don't change the subject. Which is what? Which is that you have betrayed my confidence for your own... Ambitions. You think that by getting poor Eden out of the way, you can have capital enterprises to yourself. Isn't that right? That's not what I'm trying to do, Mary. Eden tried to murder my father. Mason, you are irresponsible and you're selfish. And you are a liar. And I, I really pray that God helps you, because I sure can't. Mark, let's get out of here. Yeah. So, are you going to tell me your little story, or what? Sure. It's a nice story. Sit down. Like I said, it begins with the night in question. The night C.C. C. Capwell almost went to the bye-bye. I was in that little alleyway behind your apartment when I saw you get out of your car, go around to the passenger side, and carry Eden Capwell inside. You were there? Yes. Well, is that it? I mean, is that the end of your little story? Well, since you asked. No. I also happened to glance at my watch. I know the exact time that you got there. You know, that just turns out to be just a little bit after somebody pulled the plug on old man Capwell at his place. Just enough time for him to leave there and get back to your place. Are you trying to blackmail me? No, no. I don't do blackmail. I provide a service. And what's that? Don't get me wrong, friend. I am trying to help you out here. Even Capwell is way, way too nice a chick to end up in the slammer. And her brother is in way too big a rush to help her there. How do you know that? I got ears, don't I? Do you see this? What's that? It sort of runs fast when it's raining. Oh, really? Yes, really. But for a nice new watch, I could swear that I saw you and her get out of your car at, say, 9.45. That's just before the plug got pulled. Right. Right. So that's when it was. That should provide you two with a sufficient enough alibi. Are you willing to swear to all this in court? For a new watch. A nice watch. So tell me, how much does a nice new watch cost these days? Oh, about 10,000. Times money. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll need a signed statement. Well, sure. Who do you think I am? Okay. It's a deal. Ah, I'm willing to forego the minimum on the table, but that is 10,000 up front before I sign or say anything. All right. Cruzy is gonna love me for this one. Mary, you have a file on Mrs. Diaz? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, that's
that's Mr. Diaz. Um, I'm sorry. Hey, hey. hey. You want to tell me what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing's the matter. I'm fine. Yeah, well, I think you're uh, still upset with about that argument with Mason this morning. Now, why should Mason upset me? You tell me. I don't know, because he's a, he's a snake who lures you with his charm and his wit, and then he turns on you. That doesn't upset me. That infuriates me. Right. You know, he makes me just sick, Mark. I mean, he's got, he's got the most driving ambition. He has a self-destructive streak a mile wide, and I guess it has to do with his father, you know. I mean, he is, he's so desperate to prove himself. He's just... He's, he's dangerous. Hey, hey, you know, Mary, did you ever think that maybe that's why you're so interested? Oh, come on, are you crazy? No, no, wait a minute. I've known you since junior high, right? Now, I've never known you to do anything that wasn't safe. In fact, I think one of the reasons you went into the convent was because it was safe. Now, think of it. Along comes big, bad Mason Capwell. I think you called him dangerous. You're afraid of him, but you're still drawn to him. I am not afraid of him, and I'm certainly not drawn to him. Not anymore. I know him better by now. Hey, opposites attract, okay? I should know. My wife was dangerous. Well, yeah, how is she dangerous? That's beside the point. The point is that she was... She was a challenge to me. Just like Mason's a challenge to you. Okay, so what do you do about it? Well, I married my challenge. I don't recommend it. Don't worry, Mark. I'm not close. I don't even want to be in the same room with him. Well, whatever you do, whoever you get involved with, make sure you know him real well first. And if he happens to be dangerous, remember that dangerous people don't change. You're speaking from experience again? What are you, my psychiatrist now? Well, no, but... Mark, I'm curious as to why you're here. It's a very interesting problem. You suspect everyone of ulterior motives? No, I don't. But I think maybe I should start. And I think we should start tending to business as in patience. I'll talk to you later. You don't like fish? Boss, I love fish. My, my husband loves fish. I cook fish two or three times a week. Lightly breaded, a little butter sauce, delicious. Listen, sweets, I'm interviewing for a waitress, not a cook. Sorry, Buzz, it's just that I really need this job. Why? Why? I love fish. I love working with people. You work nights? Yes. Early mornings? Absolutely. Swing shift? If I have to. So, you're... Flexible, that's me, I'm flexible. I don't care when I'm working, as long as I'm working. Well... Please, Buzz, I'll be a terrific waitress, I promise. Your husband have anything against crazy hours? No, why should he? Well, that was the kicker on the last girl. That and about a few million personal problems. Oh. Have you got any personal problems? <laughs> Not a million. <laughs> No, Buzz, the, the truth is my husband and I were happy as little clams. <laughs> All right, you got it. Put on an apron and go to work. I got a job. What can I tell you? I'll tell you your schedule later. Thank you. Right now, I want you to meet Pearl. Okay. He'll show you the ropes. Hey, thank Pearl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got somebody I want you to meet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the new waitress. Uh, the name's... Amy, Amy Perkins. Uh, well, what do you want to work here for, Amy? You get better tips in the morgue. <laughs> Just show her the ropes. Yeah, you know you're Thank the you. uh, you're the fourth girl this month, huh? Oh, really? Okay, now what you want to do here is you want to work fast. You want to make sure the water glasses are filled up front. Sure. And you got to smile, okay? And other than that, just take care of business back here. Again, again. What, what, what should I do first? Well, why don't you finish carving up Charlie here? And yeah, wash your hands. Not now, Captain. It's all there. Eh. So I see. Thank you. So, when do you want me to start singing your song? Uh, as soon as I can get a Detective Castillo over here. What a Cruz Castillo. You know him? 
fair for it. Then everybody's heard of Cruz Castillo. He's the guy that handled the hostage situation downtown, right? Yeah, that's right. And he thinks he's some sort of hero. Right. Uh, by the way, this, the uh, deal is, if he doesn't buy your story, you're out and you'll watch. I think he'll believe me. Let's wait and see, huh? It better be important. It is. I have new evidence in the Capwell case. You do? Yeah. You're going to want to hear this. I think I heard enough out of you to last me a lifetime, Kirk. Look, Cruz, we all know that Mason is out to get Eden. You know it, and I know it. I mean, he even tried to get you to charge him, right? Yeah, and I told him to take a hike. Okay, well, we both know that's not going to stop Mason, but I have something that will. Proof. And not just my word, but proof that Eden was with me when Cece's plug was pulled. I have your statement, Kirk. That's good enough. Okay, well, that's good enough for you, Cruz, but not for Mason. He told me he's going to the DA's office with what he knows. But we can stop him. How? I have an eyewitness. Cruz Castillo, this is Pearl. Nice to meet you, sir. I understand you're investigating the Capwell case. Yeah, yeah. So what about it? Well, I have some pertinent information. Like what? I saw Mr. Cranston here with Eden Capwell at his place at 9.45 on the night that somebody tried to bump off old man Capwell. Uh-huh. 9.45? 945. You, you, you willing to swear to that? Up and down. You see, Cruz, now no one can touch Eden, not even Mason. All right, meet me in my houseboat in half an hour. I'll have a stenographer there to take... A signed statement. All right, we'll be there. Hey, sweet. Yo. You got a customer over here. And try and be gentle this time. Yes. So, uh, sweetheart, what'll it be this time? Uh, well, just give me a couple. Amy, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm working here. No, no, you've got a job already. His name is Johnny, and he's at home where you should be. Johnny's fine. I talk to Mom, and I'll listen about my working here. I want to do what I do. We need the extra money. It'll give you a chance to prove you're innocent no. without having to work. No, it's, no, it's not the Johnny. way I want it. Sweet. You don't tell him how he wants yeah, it. Tell him what he wants. Who are you? No. I'm her boss. Who are you? I'm her husband. Listen, I'm going to talk to you at home, all right? And make sure to turn in your apron. Frank, wait. Oh. And wait a minute. Uh, I thought you said no I, personal problems. I can explain this. I can, but 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 not right now. I'll be right back. Frank, wait a minute. What now? Dry off a little. Then what? I'll take care of the rest of it. What's that supposed to mean? I appreciate your help, but I can handle the rest of it alone. I want you to go upstairs and stay there till all of this is over. Kelly, it's for your own good. Wait a second. Aren't we in this together? I mean, I know it's your map and Carlo is your friend, but I'm the one that came up here. You could here. get hurt here. I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, I see. When the shooting starts, is that it? Is it because I'm a woman? Is that the issue? You don't think I can handle myself? No, not exactly. I handled you, didn't I? Or is that too much for your male ego to handle? You could get killed here, Kelly. So could you, Dylan. So could both of us. What's the difference? We're in it together. And I'm not going to let you just sweep me under the rug. There's three of them. Well, there's two of us. It's a lot better than just one of you. Now, come on, they're gonna be here any minute. We're standing here arguing. What can I do to help? Okay, there's a coil of rope over there. I want you to drag it over here while I get my knife. What are you doing? Are you gonna ask questions or help me? He has the resistance. I won't be moving into her office right away. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> right, thanks. How dare you? How dare I what, Sophia? I have just heard what you were trying to do to Eden, and I think it is despicable. My God, Mason, she's your sister. You've seen the way she's been treating me lately. Why should I act particularly brotherly toward her? Oh, she was just trying to protect the company, and you know it. Yes, from me. Mason. For God's sakes, don't try to get back at her this way. 
Don't do it. You're not talking here about a company or assets or power. We are talking about someone's life. Do you want to see your sister put in jail? Now just stop it. Just drop it. Let Cruz go to the DA if that's necessary. It's his investigation. What kind of fool do you think I am, Sophia? Cruz is in love with Eden, remember? He'll do whatever he can to protect her. That is absolutely not true. Besides, it's my duty as his son to try to come forward with the truth. And I should think if you loved him as much as you profess to, that you'd want to see the person who tried to end his life put behind bars. I don't know how you can stand to look at her. Mason, I know what evidence you have, and it is absolutely not conclusive. You have no Besides, idea if Eden was the one The ball's in her has... court now. As she wants me not to go to the DA, all she has to do is turn the company over to me. Absolute blackmail, and you know she would not do that. I don't know that at all. Mason, I'm warning you, and I am very serious. Don't ruin Eden's life. I think you're just playing favorites again, Sophia. Don't push me. Mm -mm. Temper, temper. I wonder what's keeping Kirk from keeping his appointment with the inevitable. Thank you, gentlemen. The statement will clear Eden beyond a shadow of a doubt. Right there, Pearl. Always glad to help. Can't wait to see Mason's face. If you're ready, I'll give you a ride. Thanks again. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I think I want to join you. No, no, excuse me, Mr. Pearl. I'd like to talk to you. My mother has a thing for oysters, and I was thinking maybe I could uh, get a little... You want to tell me what's going on here? You need a map. I am trying to help you. You swore to me at the police station that you saw Aiden and Kirk come back to his place at 10.25, no earlier. Will you listen to me now, please? I overheard Mason Capwell threaten Cranston. He said he was going to go to the DA with what he knew about Eden. I am trying to help you. In other words, you just perjured yourself. Do you realize you can go to jail for that? Well, nobody's going to know it's perjury unless you tell them. Hey, don't put that on me, pal, because I don't, I don't need that. How much did Cranston pay you? You think he paid? How much? $10,000. I don't believe this. Oh, come on. You just said yourself I could go to jail if I'm going to take that kind of a chance. I need a little bit of life insurance. Anyway, what is the big deal? I did see Kirk and Eden. I just fudged a little on the time, that's all. You just committed a felony is what you did. So I don't see you running after me to turn me in. Oh, hey, no. You kidding me? I know better than you are. Hey, wait a minute. Don't give yourself such a hard time. You're just trying to protect the lady. Yeah, right. For a great cause, right? Do you know what I've done? Do you know what I'm doing, man? I'm Why? doing things that I, I, I would have arrested myself for a week ago. That I never thought I could do. Things that, that, that I, I'd rather die than have done. Come on. It is not that bad. You didn't kill anybody. Oh, I'm pretty close to killing myself. Respect, I'll tell you. Yeah, so what's that going to buy? Nothing has changed. You just got your lady off the hook, that's all. No, you don't understand, man. This is completely out of hand. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, good. I thought you'd never get back. Mason, say no, Mary, I want to try to make it up to you. Please give me a chance. You've had chances. What do you think, I'm running your raffle? I don't have time for this. Mary, Mary, you, you don't have to be at the clinic until four. And that gives me two hours to beg your forgiveness and... Try to win your affection back. Won't you at least let me try? No. Mary, what about these? Will they uh, soften your heart? No, huh? Uh, how about sweets for the sweet? Mason, you can't buy me off like you can other people in your life. Well, uh, how about food then? They say the, the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. Not this woman. Well, you don't think that pheasant under glass will help you forgive me? Am I getting close? How about these? Well, if Sinatra won't do it, I give up. Well, give up, Mason, because I am still angry. Maybe, uh... An apology would help. Well, that would depend on the apology. I'm sorry I tricked you about Eden. But I honestly thought that I was doing the right thing. 
Mary, I love my father. I needed to know who tried to harm him. Mason, I understand that, but you, you hurt me a lot. And if you do care about me, don't do that anymore. I won't. I promise. I won't do anything but try to make you happy from now on. Believe me? Thank you for fixing up the houseboat for Brick and me. Our honeymoon was pretty silly, but pretty wonderful. I, huh? I hope we can repay you and Kelly sometime. Kelly? Kelly? No, honey, it, it's Amy. Kelly's not here right now. Where is she? Where is she? I don't know. Kelly. Kelly. I don't get it. It's just like everything else. It buys us more time. Until what? Until I can get a hold of one of their guns. Well, that's Greg Steven, right? Sure would. Hey, you haven't asked about the map lately. Do you want me to? I just thought maybe... I mean, would you tell me where it is? No. Then why should I ask? Dylan, what are you hiding from me? Nothing. At least nothing you should worry about. Listen, I really don't think we should be keeping secrets from each other. Well, this one just might save your life. Where are you going? Never mind. Listen, I'm coming with. No, you are not. You are staying right here. Kelly, have you ever heard of a welcoming party? Well, that's what I'm going to be. A welcoming party. Now, I'll be back in two minutes. I promise. Dylan, be careful. Yeah, I'd prefer it if you'd uh, tell us both to have good luck. All right. Good luck. For both of us. Thanks. only God found thee. I find thee. I am safe and strong and glad. So I, with bosom swell, make witness here between the good and bad that love, as strong as death, retreats as well. Elizabeth Barron Browning. Oh, I had to learn it in high school. I never thought I'd get the chance to say it to anybody. Well, I'm glad I'm the one who gave you the chance to say it. And love can retrieve. Rook. Excuse me. Well, Mason Catwell, just the man I'm looking for. Uh, would you excuse us for just a minute, Mary? Oh, sure. Thank you. We won't take long. Well, two hours ahead of schedule. Nice going. Where's my charming sister? Isn't she with you? As a matter of fact, no. She couldn't face me, huh? Well, she did sign the transfer of power papers over to me, didn't she? Okay. There's been a change of plans. Oh, well, maybe in your plans, but not mine. 
I may have to go to the DA's office first, but I'll be moving into her offices eventually. I think you better have a look at that. What is it? Well, why don't you just take that along with you to the DA's office? I'm sure he'd feel that it was very important finding out that Eden Capwell has an ironclad alibi. Action when the A-Team gears up for a high-speed race car showdown. And on Riptide, Boz's game show winning spark up an old flame. Is Boz about to get burned by love? Then Remington Steele goes country to bring home the bacon. But can he and Laura keep their hides out of the frying pan? Tonight, let's all be there. It's Farm City Week in Alabama. What does it mean? We'll tell you tonight at 6 o'clock. <laughs> 